Hola, mi gente. Hello, my little angels, mi angelitos. You did it again, did it again, did it again. Ow! You did it again. 925 subscribers. Guys, we are this close to a thousand and this close to a million. And I'm telling you, when we get from anywhere from like one to two million, depending on when I can get Mercedes to donate a car, we are going to give away an S550. That is my promise. I'm not guaranteeing it's brand new. It might be a lease return, but we're going to give away an S550, you know, because why not? But remember, it's low, it's low profile tires and you're going to get flats like crazy. So you're going to have to pay for the car insurance, which is like $400 a month. That's what that was back in 2013. I don't know what it is for the tire insurance, because trust me, you're not going to want to keep replacing tires on the S550. There were times where I drove that car and I got a flat and then I got them to come and change the flat. And then the, the, the next day I got another flat going to get that tire changed. So then they had to get a flatbed because I didn't have another spare tire. Do you know what I'm saying? So I'm just being honest. Whenever you have low profile tires, you got low profile tire issues. Okay. So just be very wary of that. So we're talking right now about the 925 subscriber winner. And I'm about to tell you who she is and what I'm going to give her because I, it was for the double XL, um, fleece lined hooded sweatshirt, which is so comfortable. Right. And it was like from a company that I worked with, but I'm not just going to give you the sweatshirt. I don't just do that. Most of the time I just give you what I'm giving away, but sometimes I give you more and I'm going to give this person more because she was patient and she was kind and she was sweet. But there's, before I give do the giveaway, I want you guys to know, I don't contact you and tell you, you won the giveaway. I used to do that. And then I found out that people were not subscribed to my channel anymore. And I was giving stuff away to people who weren't subscribed, right? They, you know, like, and I didn't know because I don't, I still can't see who's subscribed and who's not subscribed. So what am I going to do? I'm going to make the videos until I figure this out. Cause I'm still learning YouTube, right? I'm going to make the video and you have to be responsible to come and check the giveaway winners video to see if you won. Now it's always at the top of the description box. So it'll be there. It'll be like winner. And then in this case, it's Cheryl B. C-H-E-R-Y-L B. Cheryl B. You won the sweatshirt, but we're going to go over exactly what you won in a minute. Yay, Cheryl. Right? So I just want people to know if you want to be part of the giveaways, you have to just put in the comment section what you want. Below in the description box of this video will be all of the giveaways that I'm doing for the next thousand subscribers. And then, um, you tell me what you want, put it in the comment section. I keep it on track and then we'll move it from there. So let's go open up in here. Let me see what she said she wanted. Um, I keep track of everything you say. Here we go. Cheryl B. Everything you say you wanted. Is this the winners? Hold on. Yeah, these are the winners. No, I want to look at the giveaway list. Give me a second, guys. Sorry. My phone was on, but then it turned off and I thought it was Cheryl B. Oh, I'm giving it a Cheryl B wants the double XL Sin Frontera sweatshirt. She also wanted the puffy shoes, but I can't give those away yet because that's a whole nother giveaway. Um, she also said that she wanted, so I do have the size 10 slingbacks if you guys, if you want it. I don't know if you could fit into a size 10 if you're a nine. I, I fit into multiple shoes. <laughs> I fit into eight and a half sometimes. <laughs> But this is a sweatshirt. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, oh. I have back pain. <laughs> Today's a better day. So it's this sweatshirt. And I'm going to get it ready for you. We're going to box that up. Then I'm also going to be throwing in, um, if you wanted, if you don't, that's fine. Because that's the next giveaway. Are the size 10 slingbacks. If you do, then I'll change that giveaway to something else. Um, but I could throw that in there. I just had them. They were like literally right here. And, and then uh, when I pulled this, like a bunch of stuff fell. All right. We'll go over that in a minute. Um, there was also this red Briggs jacket that I was giving away in the winter that looks good with everything. You could wear it as like a blazer, as a jacket, you could put it over dresses, um, button downs, shirts, whatever you want. It's a size 14 P. Let me know if that fits you because I'll throw that in there as well. And then just email me and I'll tell you what else I could throw in. 
Um, I want to thank you because this is not one of the most desirable giveaways, but you still said you wanted it. And that means a lot to me. And, you know, sometimes I'll throw in some giveaways that people are like, what? Um, but I always end up throwing in other stuff. And then sometimes the giveaway is so good that it's like, no, I'm not throwing anything else in. That's what you're getting kind of thing. You never know what you're going to get with me. It just fits. I, I fly by the seat of my pants. That's how I feel that day. So let's go over what the giveaways are. I'm going to show you some of them and some of them I'm not going to show you because I don't have them. So we're going from here. The next one is a quilted Temu bag at $9.50 and a lot of people want that one. That one's already boxed. Oh, sorry, I'm going to be making a lot of noise because I'm off a lot of pay. But I still want to make this video. This is the last video I'm going to make about the giveaways. Next, I'm just going to start telling you what the giveaways are and then referencing. It's this one. And it would look so cute. Uh, to me, it looks like a YSL dupe. It doesn't say YSL though. And I wore this and I rocked this for about a month. I really liked it, but then I started getting more and more bags from my clients. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to start wearing my, my other ones. And then now I'm making the my What's in My Closet videos and I'm pulling out all these bags. And I'm like, I really need to start wearing my real bags, you know? So I'm giving away a lot of my dupe bags, non branded bags, and non-luxury bags because I don't need them anymore I have more than enough of the luxury ones um and non-branded luxury ones if you guys know if you've watched any of my videos I just bought a bunch of like I bought the Bottega bag and that's non-branded it's beautiful like two Bottega bags and um they're just stunning so this is the next one that we're going to give away then it was supposed to be the chocolate brown heels that I was just talking about that I would give I would give to Cheryl B. It's like, it's like Lamaze. Lamaze, is that what it's called? Lamaze class? Labor? Right? Um. Okay, I'm going to stop moving because it's not fun anymore. But I will find them. Um. Yeah. Okay. At 1,000, we're going to do the FF earrings, which are these. We're also doing this at 2200 as well. I probably should have worn these for the video, but I really like these. These are from Temu. I mean, they, they look super expensive, right? Okay. So then there's these. Then we have at 1050, the new Tom Ford dupe sunglasses, which I have right here. And they're from Temu and they're super cute. And it's funny because when I went yesterday to see some, um, well, I met, I met the, the intake person. She had very similar ones and I was like, but they were the glasses. So these are the Tom Ford dupes. They're really pretty. They have the little T right here. Aren't they beautiful? I have so many gorgeous sunglasses. I, I think these are beautiful and I think they look good on me too. But I have other ones that look phenomenal. So this is $9.75. I said I would give them away in May. <laughs> it's May. I keep my word. If you guys have ever seen any of the other giveaways that I told you I would give away and you haven't seen them on the giveaway list, well, guess what? I'm giving them away later. So, yes, I do have those LV items that were uh, dupes that I use for educational purposes on this video. Video On this channel, I do buy a lot of dupes to show you the difference between the real and the fake, the quality, how you can find a secondhand bag and know whether or not it's real or fake. You know what I just learned and I just want to teach it to you. On the speedy bags, my eye. On the speedy bags for, um, oh my God, sorry, hold on. I just put on eye makeup. I, I never put on eye makeup because I was reviewing the Hermes Rouge H, uh, number 85, Rouge H. This is it. And then, so I, I made that video. It'll post later. And um, on the bags for the speedies, it has like a, hexa a pentagon shape like that. So it's supposed to be five stitches on these two pieces four stitches on these pieces and then five on the bottom. That's how you know it's a fake because the fake all has five, but it's not. It's five, four, five. And that's when you'll know right off the bat, just by that one thing, if it's a real or a fake. Isn't that interesting? So yeah, so I do a lot of these videos to show you about the stitching, the edge coat, the interior, the hardware, everything. Um, so if you want to see my videos, please subscribe. Um, Notification bell, you know, I want to say hit the notification bell button, but the truth is my videos are so far and in between. Not everyone's going to like the content. You can't hit the notification bell button, but I do like surfing videos where I can show you like luxury dupes on Temu. Then I actually do surfing videos where I show you luxury items on the luxury website. 
things that I'm going to buy, things that, you know, like you compare to see, is it real? Is it not? You know what I'm saying? So I do a lot of different videos. Then I do the unboxings, then I do reviews, you know, so if you hit the collaboration, I'm the collaboration. If you hit the notification button, just know you're going to have to skim, you know, like when you see the notification, you might not like that video. Don't watch it, but at least you'll know, you know, and then I do the giveaways. Um, and then I just babble sometimes and I just tell you, oh my God, let me tell you what happened. Did you know? <laughs> um, at 1100, we're doing the new rich skin complexion makeup bag. So basically it's just a makeup bag that I, well, it's a makeup and skincare bag that I put together. There's samples, but there's one full size product. I can't, I can't turn around and bend down and get it. I really can't. I physically cannot. I'm sorry, but it's behind me on the floor <laughs> and it is Mally, M-A-L-L-Y. And it's the rich, um, it's, it's in a, uh, nope, can't do it. It's, it's in a compact. Mm. Is it in here? I think I put it away. No, I put it away for nothing. It's in, um, it's in the bag behind me, but I, I can't even pick that up because it's too heavy. So this is the giveaway bag of all the makeup bags that I'm going to be giving out throughout the year. It's in one of these. I just wanted to show you the makeup bag. So it's going to be a rich foundation, um, Mally kind of thing. It's a, you put the pad on it and then you go like this, but it's in the color rich. So you have to go to the Mally website, see what the color rich looks like to see if you are that color. And then it'll have other products. These are all of the bags. They're all different. Look at how big this bag is. It's huge. There's at least 15 to 30 bags in here. I don't think it's in this one. No. And I have different kinds of bags. I have colored bags. This is the pink bag. This is the blue bag. And they all have samples in them. This is the Clinique bag. It has a bunch of like Clinique samples in it. It even has like a really cute kind of like to put, pull your hair back because it matches the color. Um, and then some other samples in there. Uh oh. Clinique lipstick. A lot of these are the Clinique samples. So they just vary. This is a Sicily bag, but it doesn't have a Sicily sample. It just has, a, oh yeah, there's the Sicily lipstick. And then a full size Biosans gel moisturizer for people who have um, rosacea, not rosacea, but like pink in your skin and you want to take the pink out. This is really good for that. So I'll talk about them as we go through them. But right now it's somewhere in here. So I'd have to find it and I'm not going to do that right now. But I just want you to know, like, I do put a lot of thought and effort. I mean, you know how long it took me to put these together? And there was, like, themes. And I was like, oh, yeah, let's do this. And, oh, that's cool. Or, that you know, because I love you guys. And I love gifts. I'm a, my, my love language, number one, gifts. You want to make me happy? Send me gifts. You want to make me happy? Collaborate. You want to make me happy? Get me a sponsor. <laughs> ah. <laughs> mm. Mm. Next one. Sorry. Back pain. 11.50. Oh, the black dress. So we have, uh, I have a client who has a clothing brand called Leota, L-E-O-T-A. And I'm selling a bunch of her clothes on Poshmark. Um, and I'm going to put the link for that when I start posting them. I just took some pictures now, but I didn't post them yet. And that's the brand, L-E-O-T-A. And she gave me a bunch of, of dresses to give away. And this is one of the ones that we're giving away. They're all size small. I think there might be some mediums. And then she has some XL, but I have to like start selling stuff before she gives me the XL samples. And they're all the samples that she sends out to her clients. And then they'll decide whether or not they want to buy the dress and like stock it kind of thing. Right. So that's one. Um, it's really cute. And you saw how it went down and then it opened up. I love that. It almost looks like a 19. You could actually wear this to like a 1920s party with like the Mary Janes and then the thing with the feather um, and the gloves. And you can, this is totally a 1920s. This, to me, this looks like it could be a 1920s dress. But then again, you could wear this to the office, you know, with some cute shoes. Or you could just wear this to run errands with some flip-flops. Girl, do whatever you want. Put a kimono on top of it. It don't matter. It's your world, girl. Okay. Um, at 1200, we have wireless earbuds, which are... I'm not going to hurt myself anymore. I'm just a... If it's not, if it's not within grabbing range... I'm not going to do it. At 1250, it's the notebook and flower pen. This is the notebook. The flower pen is, I don't know, somewhere in there. 
It says, hello, beautiful. It's a thin notebook. I think it's got like 80 pages, 80 or 100. I don't know. It's one of the two. And it's really, I would use this to pour your heart out like a journal um, or to pour your ideas out or just, I always kept a bag in my notebook and I would write down my ideas. Um, and then now that I'm actually, I have time, I'm actually implementing a lot of those ideas and you're going to see them happen in real time. So that's, that's one thing. So I, I always give notebooks. I always believe in giving people that outlet to express themselves and to release. And then at 1300, I finally got it. <laughs> finally took it out. I've been talking about, this is the concealer palette. So this is what I used to use when I did professional makeup because I couldn't walk around with a hundred thousand concealers. So you see that they have the color correctors here, the pink and the green and the white. And then you have all these colors. I used to make my concealer specific to that person in a palette and I would leave it there for them. Like I had these little round, round containers and I would make it, it would be their color and I would leave it. So let's say I had five clients, right? I had these little mini tables that I brought that they, they collapsed. They look like they were like this big and then you open it and it's like a, a small table. Each client had their own table that I would leave the makeup and their brushes on, right? Because I'm not really trying to dirty and muddy and mix all these different brushes. And that would be for them. So if they needed to come or I needed to touch up, I knew that their brushes and their makeup and everything was right there on their table in front of where their chair was, right? Because there weren't, there weren't always chairs. Sometimes I was on set and people were sitting on a rooftop. I did that once. Um, and they just sat in different sections of where the roof was. And I had to, you know, make sure that was covered because that would have been disgusting. Uh, and it was windy. Um, but you were able to make your own colors. So this is the darkest of the, this is, these are like the darkest ones. And they don't look that dark on camera, but they are, it's a, it's a nice color right there. So you can mix that to make other colors. You can use this as your bronzer. You could, I could even make foundation out of this. Do you know what I mean? Like, so I had a lot of these, I think I have like 10 left. I mean, I use this for everything. I would custom make your color, your complexion, you know? And sometimes people would be like, can you make one for me? And I would actually make it and give them a little container so that they could use it because they never found the color that worked for them. Um, so yeah, you're going to get this concealer palette with, sorry, that's my face of like, I don't want to scream that, um, with either one or two sponges. I haven't decided. So this is one giveaway. There's always a story. I can't just tell you what I'm giving away at 1350. We're doing the Dior samples. This one. So the mini Adore is not in here, but this is the box for the mini Adore. And then you have the Gris perfume. So if you like Gris, if you don't, you can give it to your, I think it's very masculine, but a lot of people, women say they like it. So this is the Gris. You can either keep it for yourself or give it to someone else. Then you have three beautiful samples here. And then the Dior bag in the back, the Dior like pull bag. It's a canvas bag. That's like a drawstring. So this one is the Capture Total Super Potent Serum. It's a serum. Then you have the Le Micro We De Rose, which is crazy expensive. And then you have a mini sample of the um, Dior Prestige, which is my favorite, right? And I should keep this for myself and take it on vacation, but I'm giving it to you guys. I love this, but I already got like a little one that you can refill. And then I bought the big one. So I'm just going to refill the little one with the big one. I'll take that when I go on vacation, but I love it. Oh, shit. I love it so much. So I'm going to put that, I'm going to pick that up later at the end of the video because I can't right now. And then I'm going to put a little handwritten note in there. Excuse my language, but I'm in a lot of pain right now. I'm just trying my best. Um, cause I just want to get this over with. Um, and I want you guys to have, I want you guys to see what it is. Cause I haven't been able to show you. Then you have the, the, the 1400. It's the maroon. Just imagine a pair of maroon jeans by rag and bone. They're like straight leg and they are size 29. Then the 1450. Oh, that's my favorite one. And I don't know where it is. It's the soda jitters. So go on Amazon, look up soda jitters. It's a pair of like, they look like the Bottega puffy shoes in a size nine. And they are healed. They're, the heel is gorgeous. I just saw it. I literally just had it here. It's, what do you need here? No, that's not it. Is it? Yep. Nope. That's not it either. These are other giveaways that I'm doing for you guys that have like 
it's going to come in a Dior box and it's going to have a Dior makeup bag with samples in it and then the note on top. And that way you'll get the Dior box as well. But that's later. That's like more around the holidays. Um, and I have two of those that I'm going to be doing. And that, but the shoes look like that. Pero que le pasó a los zapatos que lo tenían aquí mismo porque lo que le te quería mostrarlo. I have like six accents when I speak Spanish. I have like the Puerto Rican accent, I have the Argentinian accent, I have this one. Just depends on how I feel and how, who I think would be talking. And then, <laughs> then I have um, at 1500, we all know it's the, the yummy coach hobo bag that everybody wants. And it's in here. You guys have seen it. It's uh, You'll see it as we approach it. It's this yummy vintage, it's from my collection. Uh, shoulder bag, but it, it's beautiful. It's long. It's like a long It's really beautiful. It's yummy leather coach Like vintage full green leather like I should have given that away at like 30,000 to be quite frank But I'm doing it at 1500 because I'm trying to get the channel going. So hopefully, you know, we can get to that point um, At 1550 we're doing the set. Oh, I love this one. It's the secondhand striped skirt with a green tank. Oh, I love Where are you? I just saw it before everything fell, it was right there. I have a lot of things I wanted to give away this season, you know, but I, we didn't get to the number here. We didn't get to the number. That we were supposed to get to. This is the weirdest giveaway video, right? So I have to wait for the winter. They were like really cute, like pajama pants with a sweater. So it's this tank top in a small. But, and you don't have to wear them together. It comes with this skirt that's a medium. I know, it's weird, right? Uh, by Nadia Tar. It's so beautiful. It's this beautiful, long, it's really long maxi skirt. Or you can pull it up and make it a sleeveless dress if it fits over your chest. Because I know a lot of people have bigger chests than, than were naturally given to them. So that might not stretch to that avail. But if you can, you could do that. Or you could wear it with like a bandeau top oh, that's so pretty. all the way up to like where your boobs are if, it, if this doesn't fit over them and then or um you could just wear it as the skirt with whatever you want but i thought this with this top would look super cute um i see you holding i don't know why a glass of like champagne but it's probably going to be a mimosa for like brunch you could wear these with flip-flops with heels with shoes with whatever you want to wear them with and then you could even wear like a crop top denim jacket with it. Some people like the long open kimono or long open sweaters. Or you could even put a blazer over it with a button down or a scoop neck white um, short sleeve shirt. So if you do take it off, you still look elegant. So many things you could do. I love this one. I love that one. That's one of the ones that I'm like, I, that's the, I style it. So when I do give away outfits, sometimes I just give them away because I just want to give them away. And other times I give them away because I styled it. That's something that I would style for someone to just be very casual with. Um, the 1600 is the oversized pink sunglasses. They're somewhere in there. I'm not going to go get them. At 1650, it's the jaunt. It's these shorts by Astrovidius in a size 8, I believe. Oh, no, I can't give them away. Oh, no. My client. I can't give these away. All right. So these we're going to donate in the fabric bag. Okay. So we're going to change that one. These people. Uh, we're going to change that one to this, which is for my plus size ladies. Finally. Size 14, 16 dress. But it'll fit like an 18 because I'm an 18, 20. And it fits me. Um, it's this dress. It's very pretty. It's mine. Um, I did wear it twice and then it's just, it's really pretty, right? Isn't it pretty when you actually put it on? Probably should keep it, but I'm not, I'm not going to wear it. I have a closet full of clothes with price tags that I haven't touched yet. And as much as I love this, I would honestly probably wear this as a house dress because I have so many other beautiful, like current items that I want to use. So I'm trying, as you guys see, I'm trying to declutter, and that's why I'm giving this one away. This one was mine. So this is a size 14, 16, uh, but it does fit a size 18. It does. It might even fit a size 20, to be quite frank with you. Um, it'll be, it'll stretch, but it, you know, it'll fit. 
And then at, this is my favorite one, so let me change that to the sixth, uh, second hand, because it's mine. 16, 18, no, it's 14, 16. Oh, my sister just texted me. 14, 16, black and white, Avenue, dress. So then this is one of my favorite ones. I created this one. Oh, Cheryl B. I don't know if this would fit you. No, I think this is more for a petite woman. Because it looks weird on me. There's this hat right here. I'm going to be giving away in the summer. But it's too, it's too small. You know what I mean? Like, so I feel like you have to have a really tiny head. So I'm going to see what I could do. I'm probably going to put a dress in that together. So I just want to show you. This has been in my, um, I don't know if that's what this is. Okay. This is a mommy daughter bag. And basically it just came like this. I don't know if it's this part that's chipping is from the straps or if it's from something else that's in the bag. But there are these little chip things that are coming off. They're not coming off the bag, which is what I think is weird. I'm wondering where they're from. So it came like this with this strap. And then what I did is I added the pin and I added this strap that I got from Amazon. So you could wear it like this. You could wear it like this. You could wear it like this. You could change this strap entirely and get another one from Amazon that's longer and make that a crossbody. Just look up leather chain replacement straps and then you'll find it. Um, and then make this a crossbody, you know, out of your own pocket. But I call it the mommy daughter bag because I feel like this is like a someone trying to like look like their mom, but the mom's like, I'm not buying you a Chanel bag. You can't handle it. I'll let you use this one, you know? The pin does come off. And what I was thinking now that I'm looking at it is I, I didn't like the pin at first. I actually got a full refund on it and I got to keep the pins because it wasn't finished at the end here. Like you see it stick out there. I don't know if you can see it. You see it? Uh, you kind of could. It's not finished. It just It's just interwoven, but it's not like tied in or sewn in. So it could fall out over time. But I was thinking, why not just take the leather out and make it just a gold chain pin? So I think I'm going to do that with the other ones that I have um, because I do think that would that's more suited for me. I like the gold chain versus with this. So you could do that too. That's what I'm telling you. If, if, if after some time these start falling out, just take them out and leave it as a gold chain pin without the leather in it. Um, but just so you know, you could take this off and wear the pin because I just pinned it on. It's an actual pin. Um, you can just take it off and wear the pin or you can leave it on, on the bag. If you, you can do whatever you want. You have options. At 17... <laughs> That's at 1700 at set. Oh, stop it. At 1750, I was going to give away that black and white dress, but I'm doing that at 1700. So at 1750, let's look through my goodie bags. Oh, this one. We're going to give away this Chanel inspired, but not Chanel kind of fanny pack. It's gray. It's really nice. It has two zipper compartments. It's lined. Unlike the other one. Remember the review I did? They weren't lined. Um, but they still look cute. So I put a Chanel pin on it and then it looked fabulous. So yeah, you have this one and it's adjustable and it's adjustable to not very much. Um, I will put the measurements on the description. So I'm going to measure this so because I want to make sure that if you get it, you could use it. But they also have extenders that you could buy, but I don't want you to have to do that. So I'll put the measurement of how wide it is um, all the way around. So this is the gray fanny pack, quilted fanny pack. And that's good for just, you know, if you want to wear it to run errands, festivals, cycling, rollerblading, etc. At 1800, we have the Longchamp organizer in the blue. I think it's blue. Uh, I don't know where that is, but you guys have seen it before. I've done tons of videos on it. It's an organizer for ba basically very big east to west totes that are similar to the size of the long champ. So it doesn't have to be a long champ. It just has to be an east to west tote. Then we have at 1850, the LV inspired key holder and card holder in Eclipse. 
That is something that I got. There it is. That's this one. Mm, 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 mm. And um, I bought it for the thermos. It's not this one. It was the Eclipse thermos. But uh, it comes with the receipts if you want it. I don't care. And then, <laughs> and then it has this card holder. And it looks like this on the inside. So you can use that. Like I would use this to store all of my old cards. Like my old licenses, IDs from jobs, anything that's memorable, um, social security card, things like that. You know, like if you want to just use it for that, or you can use it as a wallet. Um, it's not lined the way it would be if it were like a legit wallet. So just note that. And then you have the key holder. And it just holds your keys. And then it has this to like clip onto the inside of your bag if you have that option. Um, so that's also going to be in here. And then what I was going to do, but I don't think I'm going to do it anymore, but only because I just think this is good enough on its own. Um, I might ship it in a box so you can keep the box and store stuff in it. I was going to put stuff in here. I'm still debating if I want to do that. I just think this is enough, you know, um, but I might put some like makeup and skincare samples, but like the thin packets, like the ones that you get that you have one use out of. I was going to put some in there for you guys to enjoy that as well. Just like some surprise ones, maybe from like SK2 or something like that. I don't know. Just depends on what I get. Um, I'm sucking that one in. At 1900, we have the men's denim and blue sleeve, long sleeve shirt. Um, you could wear that over dresses. You could belt it. You can men can can go in on that one. It's a size medium men's shirts. They're very nice quality. It is secondhand from one of my clients. I think he said he wore them like once each. He's like this. I can't talk about it, but he doesn't wear things often or a lot. If even he doesn't even know. He just he has a lot of clothes. So he gave me that. At 1950, it's the red quilted bag, which I love. Like, I actually was debating on keeping it because I love it that much. But the truth is, I'm never going to wear it. I'm never going to wear it. I'm not ever going to wear this. I'm not. I love it. I think it's cute. I don't care if it's non-branded. I don't, you know, like, because you don't know what it is. You just see the chain and you're like, what is that bag? I love this bag. And then you just squeeze it. I thought that was super cute. It looks good on the inside. It's one big compartment with a slide pocket. I love this. I was going to wear this networking or not really networking because I would wear the Chanel double flap. But, you know, like when I go out and it's really quick and like, you know, if it's dark and nobody's really going to see what you're wearing, but it just looks good. It has a nice silhouette. It looks pretty. Like, I like this. Um, there's just one string hanging out over here, which I would cut off, but I'm not going to do it. You guys can cut it off. It's just one little string. I never touch anything, but this, I love this bag. I just do. It, it, and the thing is that it's not expensive. It doesn't look expensive. It's just, I like the style. I think if it was really made out of lambskin or a nice quality leather and the hardware was quality, I would buy that bag. I would pay two, three grand for that bag because I like the style. I really like it. At 2000, we're going to do the Kayali Vanilla full size. Um, one of my, my influencer clients, I don't know if they meant to or not. They threw it away and they were like, you know, her boyfriend was like, you can take whatever is in the garbage. If she's there, she doesn't want it. So I took that and, um, I tried it six times cause I love vanilla, but I didn't like that vanilla. I think the vanilla Diorama by, by Dior, I was giving that away. Wasn't I? I don't know where it is. I thought I was giving it away. I, um, I think that smells very similar to Kaoli vanilla. Weird, right? And then at 2100, it's the Briggs blue jacket. So the, the red one that I'm offering, Cheryl G. Um, the blue one is like that neon blue. It's kind of like this, but a little bit more neon. And I think it's the it color for the season. So I, I was going to give that one away. Um, it's a size 14P. It says large. I thought it was a 14P. It fits me. It's just really tight. And it's just, you know, I don't want to wear things that that are really tight. I'm between a 16, 18, 20 around there, depend on, on the designer. At 2200, it's the FF earrings. At 2300, it's another notebook and flower pen, which I haven't picked, but I have like a hundred and something notebooks. Don't worry. It'll be nice. 
at $2,400. It's the new with tags. Pink ASOS blazer. It's like a soft pink blazer. It's beautiful. Size 32. At 2500 I'm not getting it. Oh, it's right there. Oh. It is this one. And then this is the last one. I can't keep doing these videos anymore. I'm done. Um, it's too much. <laughs> it's this one. It's the Poppin bag. P-O-P-I-N. I think this is my client's brand. Um, and it has a crossbody strap. If you want to wear it, it has the top handle. This is fur. This is real fur. So if you don't like real fur, get away. Like don't, don't say anything. Just don't get it. This is real fur. This is real leather. And then if you open this up, it's suede on the sides and they pop out. So you can pop it in or pop it out. Oh, and then you close it and now it's transformed into like this trapezoid bag and then hold on this is suede and if you want to keep them out there are these little things that you could snap shut like let's say you're in the city and you don't want anybody going in your bag you snap this shut and that way they can't get in your bag unless they unsnap it at which point I hope you could feel that um, so you could do it like that and wear it like this style or you could pop it in and have it the other style I love this bag but Again, I'm not going to wear it because I have so many other bags that I need to wear. And then the inside is pleather with um, a zipper pocket. I think it's, yeah, it's pleather on the inside. And then, yeah. I think it's leather on the outside. I thought there was a tag in here that said leather. Oh, it's genuine leather. So it could be bonded leather on the outside, which I, I probably think it might be, but this is for, this is nice. It's like, you know, like when you're having a rough day and you just want to pet a cat, you know, you might not have a pet around, but you could touch your pet. And then at 2,600, it's the, um, canvas Lindy that I bought. I got it off of, um, it's a dupe. I got it off of AliExpress. It's not that great of a dupe. I'm not gonna... I tried to keep everything close because I wanted to make this video. I just, I wasn't expecting to be in this much pain, I, you know, and mind you, I'm in, I'm in a better situation because I had physical therapy and they gave me like a nerve relaxer because it's like nerve pain. Um, so I'm, I'm in better, but yesterday I would have been screaming right now. Um, right here, you see how like this is showing because the stitching came out right here. You just have to have somebody sew it shut up to here, but I mean, it's okay. I don't. It doesn't look like the other Lindy that I bought from, um, none of them are branded, that I bought from AliExpress. That was gorgeous. Now, if they had been the same quality of leather, but with the canvas, I would have been in love with it. But it's not. And that one looks so good and so real. Oh, it's right here. I'll put the links for these bags below if you guys want them. Um, this is a Lindy dupe that I bought from AliExpress. It was $70, but it's full calfskin leather. It looks amazing. It's beautiful. Everything looks really good. Like everything looks really good. It's not branded. So there's no brand anywhere of any brand. Um, it's just a beautiful bag. Now this broke within a month. One of the straps fell off. So I have to bring it to my guy to just put the little ring on, but I want him to put stronger rings, not these. I want him to put like real brass or nice strong ones. Cause I don't want it to fall off. Um, so that's why I'm bringing it to my guy. But this is a beautiful bag. This is a 26 centimeter one. It's a dupe. It's not the same one. It's freaking gorgeous. And I highly recommend it. This one I bought because I got that one and I loved it. But this one's a little bit less different quality. I mean, this was 20 bucks. I didn't expect anything or 16 or something like that. It was like 20 with shipping. Um, so I just want you to know the difference. It has a palladium hardware. It's, but you can see the straps are very different. See how they like, instead of just going straight up and down, they're thicker, they bow. I just want you guys to see the quality. So that one I'm giving away at 2600 I probably should give it away earlier, but you know, if somebody, if there's no people for one, I usually substitute one for the other. Um, and then at 2700 we're doing Lululemon top and either shorts or pants. I haven't decided yet because I have both. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to list them both on eBay, see which one sells, and then use the other one because I got to make money to pay for the delivery 
of all of these giveaways because it's coming out of my pocket. So there's that. Um, so it's gonna it's definitely gonna be a Lululemon top with I don't know if it's gonna be shorts because I have both. I have shorts. I have two pairs of shorts and then I have pants. So I'm gonna list them all and then whichever one doesn't sell, that's the one that I'm gonna give away. Being honest with you guys. At 2800, more Dior samples, which are the box that I told you about. That's one of them. The other one I'm gonna do around Christmas time. And then at 2900, it's the Fabletics yoga mat. It's right here. Give me a second. In leather, a leopard, leopard. This one. It's a yoga mat. And this is compliments of Alex Jane Cooley. If you want to like her, she is on Instagram. She gave me 10 yoga mats. I'm, I'm giving some to friends and family and the other ones I'm giving to you guys. And her name is Alex, A-L-E-X, Jane, J-A-N-E, Cooley, C-O-O-L-E-Y. She's a fitness person, a fitness personality. You can find her on Instagram, like her, be like, hey, thanks for giving Myra the yoga mats, you know, for the giveaway, whatever, whatever you want to say. Um, and that's at 2,900. And my name is Myra, M-A-Y-R-A. And at 3,000, we're going to do, oh, I already did that. Black and gold. Oh, the black and gold Fendi bag. Hmm. I want to wear it once though. I did a video on it. I'm probably never going to wear it. Uh, I might wear it. I don't know. You know what? Let's leave 3,000 up in the air because I'm not sure I really want to do that. <laughs> I got to see first. Um, so I did a video on uh, the fake Fendi bags to show you the difference. I have one here. That is the... most legit looking one it is the nano but it has the other ones have very shiny letters this one has not shiny this is the way it's supposed to look and then it has the correct piping but the edge coating is really bad on it and you see how it pipes through the letters the other ones were flat so it didn't look right so this is the closest one I found to the Fendi um, I just look at the edge coat I'm just not a big fan of the edge coat now, I would never wear a Nano because I don't ever have anything, sorry, that small that I would ever carry. Never in my life. Um, I do like these letters. I was actually thinking of taking these letters off in the hardware and having it put onto the other one. But I don't really like those bags enough anyway. Um, but, yeah, so this is the best one I found. And I think I might get, I'm definitely giving this one away to you guys. I'm not keeping it. And I don't hang out with people that wear little bags. Like, it's just not our thing kind of thing. Um, and then it, it clips together like this, but obviously if there's stuff in it, it's going to look better. And it's just a little nano and you just hold it in your hand like, oh my God, you like my cute little bag? Even though I have to carry my big fat phone in my hand. Um, I don't believe in that. Some people will wear like a phone bag, but it's like, what? Uh, my theory was you get the Apple watch, you get the Wi-Fi service or you just, you know, um, what's that thing called? tether off a friend and then you could wear a little mini bag like this but again this is not I love silver bags which is why I got it in silver and I do think this is the best dupe I have ever seen for the Fendi ones um but again the edge coat is off the leather feels nice I mean this feels really nice it's not leather it's pleather but it feels nice um this is really interesting I'm not going to give you guys the link because I'm not supposed to but I just wanted to show it to you guys. I'm definitely giving this one away, but I'll probably give this away again around Christmas and the holidays and stuff. This is a really nice one, com you know, compared to the other two. The other two are really, you know, are, are very inexpensive looking, but they're bigger. They're more useful. Like you could change a strap. You could do a lot of other things with it, you know? Um, so I just want to give you guys that heads up right there. I'm probably going to definitely give away the other two, but I just want to wear them at least once. Because I want to see people's reactions. Like the whole point of it being an educational video is can people tell if it's a fake or not? Absolutely. I'm pretty sure they can. But there's some people who don't know that will be like, oh my God, can I see it? And then there's other people that could look at it like me and within like five seconds be like, that's a fake. Not even five seconds, like a second. Be like, mm -mm, that's not leather. That's a fake. The stitching's off. It doesn't match. It's not the same on each side. It's not quality. That's not brass. You know, like we just, <laughs> you just know. Um, and that's what I teach you when I do the surfing videos is I teach you how to look at the stitching and stuff like that. You don't have to, you know, look at it. Like some people just watch it to, to shopping. Like, oh, I like that bag. I'm going to buy it. 
oh, it looked better when I did that. I think that this one was lower. I think I should have brought, brought it up like that. So I think that's what did it with this eye. Um, but anyways, that's what I have for you guys. Longest video ever for a giveaway. But I wanted to cover everything because I don't want to make these videos the long ones anymore. I think the next few giveaways I'm doing are just going to be short two to four minute videos. Keep it moving. This will be the reference video if you want to see what I'm giving away because I really don't have time to be doing this every single time. Okay, my babies, my honeys, my booties, my, my, my booties, my beauties. <laughs> my booties. <laughs> my beauties. Because <laughs> I, I was going to say, my beauties with the cute little patooties, right? Um, or no, what did I have? my my cutie patooties with the little booties? That's what I always say. And I wanted to say my beauties, my I can't I can't. It was like a tongue twister. Anyways, you're my beauties, and I want to say thank you to my cutie. No, my I can't my cutie patooties with the little booties. <laughs> it's just one of them days. It's the deliriousness from the pain that I'm suffering right now. And I'm sitting here trying my best to give you a smile. But meanwhile, inside, I'm crying. I really am. So I'm going to go now. And then I'm going to go lie down and take a nap. Take some pain medication. And, and a heating pad. And pray that this goes away. Hasta luego, bellezas. Bye.